Hi everyone! I wanted to record a short tutorial on the Toddy app. I hope I'm saying it right. I have no affiliation with this app. Um, it's just something that I use and that I love. So I'll go ahead and open up the app and show you what it looks like. So this is what mine looks like having already started uh, the app and I've been using it for a, a few years now. So I'm first going to click on the settings button down in the lower right hand corner. And you have a lot of different options here. Um, I do have the premium subscription, which I believe was five or six dollars, maybe um, one time payment. It's not a monthly charge or anything like that. Um, and so you do have the option here, several that I've turned off. Effort gives you the option to um, assign an effort to each of your tasks. I have tried this. I didn't really find much benefit from it. Um, but I suppose if you wanted to sort your tasks by um, effort needed, you could do something like that. Participants and assignments. I, I have tried this as well. This allows you to save. Um, so I, I have asked Eric if he would download the Toddy app. And then between the two of us, we can tackle the list together. Um, he keeps finger quotes forgetting to download the app. So right now it's just me. But I believe that you do have the ability to have any family members or anyone in your household download the app and then you can share and assign tasks that way. Uh, Dusty is a little guy, I guess, that, that I guess tries to keep you motivated and kind of tells you when you're falling behind. I have not opted to use Dusty. <laughs> You have some options here under look and fill, and I don't need to get into all of that. Um, you also have your notification options as typical. You can sync your devices when you have multiple people that are um, using the app. You have task editor, which you can go into all of the tasks that you have assigned and, and make some adjustments to them real easily that way. And then you have the option of uh, you can turn off your plan when you're on vacation. So if I didn't want to receive all the daily tasks while I'm on vacation or I didn't want to fall behind on those, I could do that. And then, um, you know, just some other general settings. So you're all familiar with apps. I don't need to go through all those details. I just wanted to kind of give you a little overview on that. So I'm going to show you, first of all, how to set up a new room or a new task um, I will say that I, for the longest time, had all of my tasks sorted by room of the house versus time of day. And it worked okay, but as time went on, just with a little bit of, um, you know, playing around and experimenting, I found that I really preferred to have all of my tasks sorted by time of day instead. So I have only now four categories. I used to have like 25 <laughs> But this is what works for me. So, um, you know, play with it and, and figure out what works for you. So we'll go ahead and add a room and we'll say that we're going to add the kitchen. So you just swipe up and choose kitchen. And then you can create. Then when you go into kitchen, you'll just hit plus for task. You can either choose from the task library, which are general tasks. I know someone was asking about that, or you can set up custom tasks. So if you go in, I'm going to click on task library. This gives you kind of an overview of, you know, the general tasks that one would do in the kitchen. And not all of these are going to, to be necessary for you. Um, and you might like everything that's on this list. I have chosen to personally go through and customize my list. Um, I don't use any general tasks. I don't know why. I just, I like to have that control, I guess, of creating them from scratch. But this I'm sure works really, really well for a lot of people. So if you click on, let's say we're going to choose mop floor, wipe counters, clean sink, and then go to next. You'll see here that it pops up kind of a general overview of how often these items would be done. So um, you can adjust that however you however you want to. And sorry, my dog is in here and she's yawning. Sorry about that. Uh, 
But anyway, so you can adjust these, these times any way that you want. And if you wanted to do the effort option as well, then you could also do that from here up at the top. So that's just a general overview of how you set up different rooms. Um, I would have hit add at the very end so that it would show up. I'm actually going to delete this, so I'm just going to hold it down and then I can hit delete. So let's go into my AM daily tasks. And today I am really behind on my tasks because I have been setting up YouTube channels and so forth today. Uh, but you can see here how it shows up for mine. And you can also choose the color for each of the tiles. I'm going to go back for just a second. Again, you just hold down on any of the boxes and then you go to edit. And from edit, you can choose your colors and um, also I believe this kind of this floor plan. I have chosen, this is kind of silly, but I have chosen this kind of orangey color for AM because that reminds me of a sunrise and then kind of a dark purple color for PM because that reminds me of dusk. So just the little things. Okay, so I've gone back into my AM daily tasks. And you can see here, um, I actually forgot to click off start laundry and white bathroom counters. I did both of those yesterday. So if I click on start laundry, I can either click on just did it, or I can click on, if I click on just did it, it's going to say, good job, you did this today. However, if I click on the arrow back button, which is what I'm going to do now, I can actually choose the date that I did this last. So I'm going to choose yesterday and hit okay. And so it's showing here, it's still due today. Um, and I actually did start a load of laundry this morning as well. So I'm going to click on it again and hit just did it. And you can see now it's green and it shows it's due tomorrow. So I'm good for that today. So this is what my daily AM um, task list looks like. The other piece is like, as an example, water plants. Okay. So I'm going to pull up this water plants. I'm just going to click on that. And then if you go to edit, you can see something that I think is really cool is that you can choose seasonal. So I don't do a lot of yard work. Um, I will weed the garden beds and I will water plants outside and the rest is on Eric. So um, that's kind of his contribution is, you know, auto maintenance, yard work and cooking dinner every day. So I don't really touch the the yard much but if you did if you if you mowed every few days or whatever you could also set that for seasonal so this water plants function even though it's in my list it's not going to show up as something that needs done until um, April through November so December through March it's not going to show up on my daily list and I do the same thing for water Christmas tree seems silly but I've got it it's down at the very bottom here I'm going to click on that and when I go into edit to look at that, you can see that's only active in November and December. So it only shows up then. So one of the things, um, and some of these look a little wonky right now because I did just reorganize this app quite a bit. Um, but if you go into ongoing tasks, this might be overwhelming for a lot of people if you're just starting with the app, which is why it may not hurt to start with rooms. So you have rooms set up and then your list within those rooms. Um, for me, that's how I had it. And then I simply moved all of the tasks into this one folder. And I'll show you why in a minute. Um, but this is basically all of my ongoing lists. And you can see that they show up. Um, for example, wash door thresholds. You might have saw in my comments this morning, I hate doing that job. So I'm six days overdue. I keep procrastinating, but I will do it. It has to be done. Um, but then you can see these are my, my things I need to do today, mopping the floor, gathering the trash, and so forth. And then this also gives me kind of an overview of things I have coming up. So um, tomorrow I will be dusting and cleaning toilets. Doesn't that sound like a fun day? <laughs> and then in a couple of days I'll be vacuuming the second floor and changing out my Scentsy cubes. Um, I say Scentsy, but it's not really Scentsy. It's wax cubes. So... Um, this just gives you an overview of everything that I have on my list. Then I have this organizing tab. 
And so I have everything on this list. I organize all of these spaces once a year at a minimum, unless it's needed sooner. I figure if I do it once a year, um, you know, things get a little bit messy between between that time, but I do a pretty good job of keeping it tidy. For example, the linen closet, I organized that. I, I completely purged that closet last year, and I've done a pretty good job of keeping it tidy. Every time I put clean cl- uh, clean towels or sheets in the closet, I just kind of tidy things up when I'm in there. Um, so if I click on linen closet and I go to history, this shows me that the last time that I purged and cleaned my linen closet was January 6th of last year. So um, technically, I would need to clean it again in January. A lot of these I just added into my list here. So it shows due in 239 days. <laughs> that's just because I've, that's kind of the day that they were added to the list. Um, but not necessarily the, the time that I did them last. I just kind of started tracking these things. Um So those are a little bit off, but kind of gives you an idea of the goal and where I'm headed. So from there, what you can do, now you have all of your lists set up. What you can do is then down at the bottom in the middle, you see the little three dots with the three lines. That is today's list. So I'm going to click on that and look up at the top and make sure it says do within today. You can also make it, you know, you can click on the arrow and choose, you know, any time frame, and then also group by. So you can group by the area or by the date. The date would only be necessary from my understanding if you choose the due within a certain number of days versus due today. But if you choose due today at the top, then you would group by area. And so this is why I have chosen to forego setting up every single, um, every single room and I've kind of put them all under this ongoing tasks. Otherwise I had, I was finding I had so many subcategory headers here that it made my list look so much more overwhelming than it needed to be. Um, so I just, I just opted to get rid of that and put everything under this ongoing task. And once it was set up, you know, the ongoing task list, if you look at the master list, looks really overwhelming. But when I look at what I have going on just today, it's a piece of cake. So that's something to keep in mind, just kind of an idea. So someone had also asked as far as how often to do certain tasks. So as I showed you in the very beginning, um, Toddy gives you kind of an idea of how often to do certain things. Um, I also chose to, this has been a process. Um, I think I had said in my initial notes that I started a process like this back in the mid nineties, if that, and it was on (laughs) just little, um, uh, little index cards that I kept in a recipe box. And then I changed it to an Excel spreadsheet and then eventually the app. And so This has been over years of trial and error for me to decide, okay, how often does this thing really need to be done? So it's going to depend on your situation. And I wish there was a magic number, um, but there is just really not. So to get some ideas, you can look in the Toddy app. You can also look online. If you do a simple Google search for how often should I do household chores, there are a ton of lists out there. Um, So if I go to my ongoing list, Oops, sorry, I'll go back to my ongoing task list. Um, You know, this really depends on your situation. So for example, sweeping hard floors on the main floor. If I go into edit, or actually you can see right here, it shows do it every three days. That may not be necessary for everyone. If you're an empty nester, if you don't have any pets, you may not need to do it that often. Um, But on the other hand, if you have a lot of pets and maybe you have a lot of really young kids, You might need to do it every single day. Um, So it just depends on your specific situation. You know, when I had young kids, and especially when I had kids that, you know, played on the floor a lot or they crawled on the floor a lot, it was something that I did every single day. Um, Now that everyone is kind of big and no one's rolling around on the kitchen floor except for the dog, um, it's every three days because that's just all I need to do. Uh, When I had Gunner, 
it was every day because he shed so badly, but Pepper doesn't shed much. Um, cleaning windows and mirrors. This might be something I do it every six days. Um, I felt like um, I, six days is kind of a random thing, but sometimes, you know, seven days feels like too long. Five days feels like too short. Um, I do it this often mainly because of the dog. She gets her nose prints all over the windows. Um, and six days, honestly, probably isn't enough, but I don't want to wash windows every day. So every six days is as good as it gets. Um, you know, things like stocking toilet paper. I do this every Sunday and it seems silly. We have three bathrooms in the house. All of the toilet paper is kept in Brett's bathroom. And, you know, I just got tired of being hollered at from the bathroom. Hey, can you get me a roll of toilet paper? So I added it to my task list. You know, this is something I'm going to do every single week. I'll make sure there's enough toilet paper to last a week. And um, so now that's, I no longer get those hollers from the bathroom, which is pretty gross. Um, cleaning toilets. So I have this on my list every seven days. I did have it every four days when I had two boys at home. Now I just have the one and the husband. Um, and every seven days seems to be okay. Now, when I say clean toilets, I do, um, almost every single day kind of do the quick swish with the brush. I have a brush in every bathroom right next to the toilet. I'll do just a quick brush around and around the rim. Um, but this is where, you know, I'm really scrubbing the tank and I'm scrubbing around the base of the toilet and all of those, you know, little crooks and nanny, what do you call it? Nooks and crannies, not crooks and nannies. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope this gives you an idea. If you have any um, questions, feel free to shoot me a message. Um, I hope this kind of helps get you started. And then I will be posting another um, kind of overview tutorial soon on a couple of other different apps that I use. So I hope this helps. Thanks.